Hi folks, I'm Bob Schultz, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. Today we are the most famous physical therapist on the internet. In our opinion, of course. Today we got the top five stretches for tight hips uh, slash hip pain. And what's nice about these, you can do these in bed before you even get out of bed in the morning, or you can do them when you go to bed at night. Sure. Or if you, you can, take a nap. Right, or you so. can just get down on the floor and do it anytime. Uh, exactly, and what you're going to find is that by keeping your hips stretched out, usually pain levels do go down. Sure, range of motion. Especially with arthritis. Yep. Uh, so it's really important if you want to stay young and active and, you know, ready to be the karate kid. Oh. Uh, you got to keep those hips moving. So, uh, by the way, before we do that, if you would please take a second to subscribe mm -hmm. to us. We provide videos how to stay healthy, fit, pain-free, and we upload every day. Also, you're really going to want to go over to the Facebook and like us. We've got some big contests, uh, not contests, giveaways. Giveaways. Uh, we're going to do a, a series of giveaways, like seven in a row, one a week. Mm -hmm. So I don't know when it starts. We haven't that, figured that out yet, but, and then, but it's going to happen. It'll start soon, before, you know, before Thanksgiving. That's okay, sure. yeah, of, yeah, this year. It's, uh, these are, there are some really yeah, big Yeah, really things big going. stuff we're yeah. giving away. Not cars, yeah. but, but big. Close enough. All right, so let's start off, Brad. Let's go to it. You're yep. going to be the demonstrator. What we're, going to do, we're going to show it this way from the side angle, and then we're going to show it from a, I don't know, what would it be, a frontal angle? the profile. That would be the uh, frontal pr frontal plane, perhaps. Okay. All okay. right, we're going to start off with number one is just plain old hip flexion. So you're going to want to go ahead and stretch that out. Now, you could do that. Um, also, um, you could put the one leg down all the way. Yep, and then stretch this one. Yep. Then you'll get a little hip uh, extensor stretch there too. Right. So, so hip yeah. extra stretch. You're going to do which way feels like it's stretching. It should feel like a good stretch. Uh, you shouldn't have any pain with any of these. It should just feel like a nice stretch in those hips. And you get a little low back with this too. Yeah, if you are having pain, just go up to the point where you feel the pain and then stop. Yeah. So yeah, if you do a double, you're going to get a little bit of back stretch too. And Brad, you're going to show with the towel in right. case people have trouble. Yes, some people will have problems to, to get started, and they cannot reach with their arms. I've had that with a, a number of patients. Take a towel roll. You can use a belt. You can go underneath the knees and pull, which works nice. You, you know, if you want to, you can take that same towel or belt and go over the knees and you get your arms to help and you get that little stretch at the end which can be really helpful. I would probably start off with a single leg though. Oh good yeah, point yeah. Bob. Yeah. I, I, I would um, in, you know again when you do both legs you're really almost stretching the back more than you're stretching the hip. So, sure. And we're, gonna, and we're focusing on the hip here so. All right, I think we, yeah, we got the different All options. Right. Thank you, Next. Brad. Oh, Next I one, got, yeah, I'm, I'm external, gonna go? Yeah, external rotation. Now with this one, what I'd like to do is have you bring both legs up, and then you're gonna cross your ankle over the knee, like this. Uh. And you can actually take your hand and give it a little stretch that way. This is a great stretch to do. I, I, I love this one. Yeah, I do it, too. It feels good, and it really works on getting some motion in the hip. And we'll do this again from a different angle so you can kind of see what he's doing. Do you want to do the other leg? Sure. Red? So a lot of times, you know, you can do pressure on, pressure off, or you can also just do sustained stretches where you get, just go ahead and hold it for a bit. And just a reminder, when you're doing these, really be relaxed. Think about breathing as you do it. Night, not shallow breathing, but deep, relaxed breathing will really help the stretch. Yeah, and it's going to help your stress levels, too. You want there to, you uh, breathing is going to help uh, with everything. So I'm becoming less stressed as we do this, Bob. All right, I'm glad to hear that, Brad. Okay, next one we're going to do is happy, actually hip internal rotation. Uh, really like this one, especially with arthritis. This is one of the motions that tends to be very tight. Uh, so what are you going to do is you're going to bring your legs up again like this and this. And, yep, he's actually going to stretch this one over like this. You bring him the pretzel. Now, it's important that you keep your shoulders down and don't go along with it like that. Yep. So yeah, let me look at you as red one series. No, okay, now do the other one. So now he crosses over and he's pulling it over that tighter on that one. Do you feel that? Yeah, the left one is tighter. Yep. I'm surprised I thought my right one would be. This is a really nice stretch. You'll, when you see it from the other angle, to be, if there's any questions, I should clear it up. But it, it really is nice, and it's not hard to do. 
This next one, oh, I'm sorry, Brad, are you ready for it? Are you well, I don't want to keep your feels good. <laughs> well, go ahead, we'll, we'll get to that. Uh, just part. hip abduction, I just do, like to do the frog one here where you just get kind of yeah. this letter stretch out. I, I call it the clamshell. Oh, clamshell, You can yeah. call it the frog, though. Sure. You can call it whatever you want. I'll call it the frog clamshell, how about that? <laughs> But yeah, that one works nice. And you can put a little additional force with your hands. And you can see he's got his, the bottom of his feet are actually touching each other. Yeah. That'll um, show from the other angle yeah, really well. Yeah, show from the other angle. And the last one is, Brad, you lay on your side actually on this one, and okay. you can actually stretch the hip flexor. There you go. This is a little more difficult to do too, um, if you have trouble reaching. Um, are you able to reach back, Brad, or not? Can oh, you? I can reach back. Okay, good. So um, we're doing a hip flexor, right? Okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna. Or just, you could use a towel. Yeah. I mean, you know, if you have it, sometimes I'll have people grab their pad leg. Like, actually, yeah, that works out good. Um, you know, if you need a towel, you have to, you know, get it situated. But then you don't need to grab that pant leg. And on this one, um, just a little warning: some people I have problems with having a hamstring cramp with this. So if, if you do you're gonna straighten that leg out and stretch it out and you know, just be cautious with that. Well, funny that you mentioned that, Brad. Why don't we go ahead and stand up and we'll turn this now. So, but, um, Why is it funny I mentioned that? Because Bob? I've been doing kettlebell swings uh -huh. and the other night my hamstring cramped up on me. And, <laughs> and so I think I was overdoing them. Yeah. And uh, so I took a day off anyway, but, uh, and then I used the vibrating foam roller. Oh, you did? Yeah, that felt oh, good. I believe that. So, well, all right, we're gonna go through all of them again real quick now. Uh, we'll do hip flexor first, Brad. Oh, yes. All right. So, uh, uh, we're gonna call this the, the frontal view, huh? The all right, axial. frontal, yeah. yeah we're, we're, we're going back to our, our therapy school days. Yeah. Okay, next. Uh, hip flexor. Ah, uh, yes. So this is that way, or you can do it with a towel. Why don't you show the towel underneath the knee? So typically the other leg will be flat like that. And if you go underneath the under knee, the or knee. you can go on top of the knee, whichever direction you yeah. prefer. Okay, mm -hmm. now hip external rotation, Brad. Yep. So you're gonna go ahead and cross the ankle over. Yep, yeah. can you see how he did that? And then he's uh, pushing, again, because you get a little di different perspective. Brad's best side, many yeah, people would say. Yeah, right? this is quite a perspective. <laughs> uh, we better get through this quick. <laughs> okay, and then hip internal uh, rotation. So now you're gonna grab, yep, like that. And you, this is, gives a good angle of this one. Again, uh, this shoulder. Keeping the shoulder down. We're, we're not going over. You can let the butt come off a little bit because yeah. you're still gonna get the stretch. But, um, and now they should be able to tell which one's tighter on you. So you oh, saw sure. how far that one went. See how this one does not go as far as that one did. Yeah. So you can actually, if you can't feel it yourself, you could have someone look at it and say, you're tighter on that side. Yeah. You need to spend more time on that Bob, side. Bob, this one really feels good. I, this is gonna become part of my regiment. I there we go. Why didn't you show me this one before? I just thought of it myself. Wow. Yeah, it takes a while oh, for wow. some of this stuff. All right, next one, uh, hip abduction, the uh, oh, clamshell man. frog leg. So, and then the final one is the hip flexor stretch, uh, Brad, where you lay on your side. Oh, the hip yeah. flexor. So again, he's gonna grab and he's gonna, yep. He's gonna pull, or he can also do it with a towel. He has to kind of get it arranged. Look at that. Oh That's yeah, crazy. once you get working, you know, you figure out little tricks of the trade that make your life easier. All right, and then, you know, when it's all said and done, Brad, you're gonna be able to do all this. Oh yeah, oh yeah, let me try that. <laughs> you ready? Wait, they can't see it, oh yeah. What? I don't know what you're doing. That's Elvis. All right, Elvis the pelvis. Thanks everybody for watching. <laughs>